Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. It appears that you guys liked the last uh, tutorial I made on how to autocraft awaken a draconium with uh, me like this. And this is a completely automated system. However, you wanted to have a video on more details on how to build it, not only uh, how it works. But this is the system we're building. I've tried to isolate it a bit more so it's a bit easier to see. And when this episode is finished, I hope you can build your own. What we will need is, uh, let's see, we start over here. Two ME interfaces, one ME storage bus, a few quartz fiber, a, and the colors of your choice of cables. I prefer to use red for any cables that doesn't carry any channels. And for our subnetwork, we're going to use blue and orange and the good thing uh, if you don't know with ME cables that are colored is that they don't connect to each other even if they are next to each other and that is awesome and then we're going to need four ME annihilation planes and seven formation planes some water a block of redstone or anything that emits a redstone signal a lever should do fine and we're going to need uh, some obsidian to build this here. You don't have to use obsidian because this is water and the whole point is that TNT will not blow up any blocks. However, I like to use obsidian when playing around with TNT like this because you won't be there to catch it when it fails, if it fails. So if you want to, go for TNT. If you don't, don't. But what we're first going to do is place down one ME interface. This is the one that is over here that will have our pattern. So this is on our main network and it's taking up one channel. And that's the only channel that will be used. And then we take the... Then we lose the crescent hammer. Then we take a crescent hammer or any wrench. Right click the back side here to make it face this direction. If you place ME interfaces next to each other, they connect in the same network. However, if it's facing this way, it will not be the same network here. If you look over here, I can place these and they carry one channel, but these will not be powered. If we take, just as an example, place down a few formation planes here, these are not powered. To power these, we want to use uh, some uh, subnetwork that will carry the power. And to carry the power, we use quartz fibers because they don't carry data. So the power comes from here, goes in here, through the quartz fiber into this subnetwork. I like to use different colors to differentiate which subnetwork I'm working with. And to make colored cables, you don't need to make anything fancy. Just surround uh, any die with the glass cables. For example, this ME glass cable Fluix, which is the basic cable, or smart cable can be colored the same way as well as dense. So we have power. Now this is its own network. If we put a storage uh, any storage in this network, it will not show up in this one. But we can uh, do, you can send things back and forth and there are ways to be able to see what's in a subnetwork. So let's break this. That's the power part of the subnetwork. And on this one, we want uh, first of all, this is the input network. So we put everything in here and then we want it to go somewhere. So we have the blue one, if we look over here, goes up to the formation planes and down a block over to and forward three to another formation plane. So that's the seven formation planes. So what was it? One, two, three, up. One, two, no, we have it here. One, two, and three up. Make a two by two, like so. And then place the formation planes on the bottom here. To craft the awakened draconian block, we need to blow up the dragon heart, throw 16 draconic cores at nearby, and place charged draconium nearby. So these, these uh, formation planes, can only accept charged draconium. And you can specify here 
or partition what goes in them and if you want you can also set the priority in this build it's not necessary you want it as block placement and then we place a placeholder i'm going to use obsidian because i mean creative and below these we want the annihilation planes these are going to uh, pick up the awakened draconium once it's done and that system is going to be the orange system so that's the placing and removing of the draconium. When the draconium is done, we want to place it back in the main system. We do that with a storage bus, like that. And these will not transfer channels. But if this puts any item in this interface, it's going to go in the main network. So this is now offline. And then we place this. This network also needs power. So we place one uh, quartz fiber, one more of you, and we line them up like so. And after that we want a 3x3 three three of water here, because we want the TNT to fall in the center of that. So we do this, like that. So once they break the awakened draconium, they're going to want to put it somewhere and then we need to configure this to only take awakened draconium if we don't configure the storage bus to only take awakened draconium it will immediately take the charged draconium blocks and put it in here so we now have those we have two more formation planes to use here this one that is in the center of the water pool here this one will take the tnt tnt i forgot the tnt there we go and it will be placed placeholder block of redstone and another obsidian block over here because this one will take the dragon heart that's going to be exploded you don't want to place that as a block i think you can but for good praxis we make it as dropped as an item just click this one from block placement to dropped item so this takes the dragon heart this takes the TNT, these four take the charged draconium, and over here, one block below the obsidian, let me fly, fly, in the center here, we want the last formation plane, here. This will take six, the draconi, 16 draconic cores dropped as items, and we then pull that over here, and break these. Now that's also hooked up. So all the formation planes are formatted so they can only take what they're supposed to take. The annihilation planes will break whatever is in front of them if it has a place on that network to store it. The orange uh, network only has one place to store items and that's this storage bus. And this goes into this ME interface. For, just to be safe, I like to make this insert only, but that's just to not do a mistake when I do something else because automatically I will put that on insert. What we have now is basically putting stuff in this interface. It tries to distribute it on the network. We have the place to store everything and then everything will come back. So all we need to do now is make the pattern. We have our pattern terminal. We have a blank pattern. We take one of these and it needs to be a processing pattern can't be a crafting pattern 16 draconic cores and four charged uh, draconium and one tnt there we go now don't forget to put down the water because that would be a an amusing flaw to make so we have water we have the tnt i think we're basically done i think we should uh, Encode that. No, I mean to tell it what it becomes as well. That becomes four of those. Encode that. Go over here. Place that in. So we have that pattern. And let's request one. Place the TNT. Did it drop the heart? It dropped the heart. The reason we want this one below is so that it will not be blown up. Even though. TNT will not destroy blocks if the TNT goes off in water. 
it will destroy dropped items. As you saw, the heart could easily pick them up anyway. And now it will charge up those, or awake them, wake them up so that they are not asleep anymore. And we blow away. And these are now awakened and... Pop. That's how you build this system. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped you. If it didn't, just leave a comment down below and I might help you out anyway. So, hey do!